Hello friends, I welcome all of you in this new lecture of this course of organic chemistry. We have been doing resonance since last two lectures and we have already understood how to draw resonating structures and what is the immediate implication of resonating structure. From resonating structure we, uh, we learn to draw resonance hybrid. In the resonance hybrid the real distribution of electronic distribution is shown and the real distribution of charge is shown as well. So the real structure is the hybrid and resonating structures are extreme structures and between those resonating structures the real distribution lies. But to draw the hybrid it's important to draw the resonating structures because resonating structures have contribution in the resonance hybrid. Now here is the definition of resonance. Resonance is movement of pi electron from one orbital to another. And pi electron does not only include the pi electrons in pi bond. It includes the electrons in pi bond, lone pair and negative charge. The electron which participate in resonance is called pi electron and we have seen the resonance of pi bond. We haven't seen those of lone pair and negative charge yet in the due course of time will be seen. But the electrons in pi bond, lone pair and negative charge, all of them are pi electrons and the movement of pi electrons from one orbital to another is called resonance. Resonance as we have seen uh, in the last lecture spreads up the charge throughout the molecule and decreases charge density. Now one thing you must remember or one thing you must understand when the charge density is large that means a high amount of charge is, has been put up in a small area then the charge density increases and that increased charge density brings about unstability in the molecule. Charge density has to be less. Wherever the charge is, charge must be spreaded up inside uh, throughout the molecule that spreading decreases the electric field that is created inside the molecule and hence it brings about stability in the molecule. So this is the rule of the thumb in organic when you have charge more dispersed around the molecule when you have less charge density you have more stability. Resonance spreads of the charge, resonance decreases charge density. When charge density decreases stability increases. Now we have to understand this and to, uh, to give you a feel of this all I can say is when you have more charge density you have more strength, you have higher strength of electric field inside the molecule which must be decreased. So our idea is we have to decrease charge density and we can decrease charge density by sharing more uh, atoms in that charge. So that charge must be shared with more number of atoms and that will decrease the charge density. So when charge density decreases, stability increases. So the bottom line of everything is resonance increases stability. Resonance increases stability. Resonance increases stability by dispersing the charge inside the molecule. The, uh, by decreasing the charge density. There is one more way uh, apart from resonance that decreases the charge density that we will that we'll be seeing after studying resonance. But the thing is when charge density decreases, stability increases and resonance is one way of decreasing charge density by spreading up the charge throughout the molecule. Now uh, let's draw one more resonating structure and uh, you try to do it on your own and after doing this we'll be looking into the application of resonance. You, you pause up the video, you draw your resonating structure, you draw the, your resonance hybrid and then you play the video and you match your answers. Just sitting and watching will not help you get to work. The first thing that we have to do is we have to bring negative charge adjacent to positive charge. And we have already learned to do that we have to bring an electron from external source into this atom. Then, then only this atom will have a negative charge and the electron from the external source is the electron in this bond because the electrons in this bond belong to, a, if, if I number this, one, two, three, then the, one of the electron in this pi bond is of C2 and one of the electron is of C3. If you put both the electrons into C2, that means C2 is having an electron of C3. So C2 will gain an electron from outer source. So C2 will develop a negative charge. Negative charge means completely full electron, filled orbital. Positive charge means completely empty orbital. When you have a completely filled orbital, adjacent to completely empty orbital, one of the electrons from completely filled orbital goes to completely empty orbital. In that case, both has one and one, and they result in overlapping. 
So a bond will be formed at between C1 and C2 and positive charge will be developed at C3. So the next R is will look like this. The bond between C4 and C5 we will not break one only one bond will be broken at a time and the C4 the bond between C4 and C5 will appear as it is. In the next step we'll try to translate further this positive charge in the same direction so we'll bring again a negative charge at C4 so that will result in formation of a positive charge at C5 you will not show that negative charge because you know negative charge and positive charge cannot be as it is because immediately what will happen electron will diffuse from the orbital having both the electrons into empty orbital so it will not exist as such plus and minus edges into it immediately they will form a bond so we do not show plus and minus all we th we imagine that negative charge to be here and then we make a bond straight away so the structure that we will draw is we will draw the bond straight away we will not show plus minus edges into each other and this plus charge will appear in the next structure at the another alter alternate position so the plus charge will be coming from c1 to c3 and then from c3 to, to c5 this is how this plus charge will translate throughout the molecule and this is how the plus charge will be spreaded up throughout the molecule and the position of pi bonds will change as well now these are the three possible resonating structures you cannot draw the next rs because in adjacent to this plus charge at c6 you cannot cannot bring a negative charge here you cannot bring a negative charge here because this atom is not making any pi bond so you cannot break any pi bond and bring electron into this orbital of this atom. So this atom cannot have a negative charge. So you cannot have a pi bond here. So you cannot draw the next RS. So this, these are the three possible RS. Now this is now we have now it's a time to draw hybrid. To draw hybrid, just draw the basic skeleton without the charge, without the pi bond. Now see the position of pi bond. Let's see the position of charge first. So the charge is at one, three, and five. It's only one unit of charge in the molecule. That one unit of charge is distributed at three positions. So what we do is we divide that plus charge at three positions. Now that will be that may not be plus one by three, plus one by three, and plus one by three. That one third of the fraction at each position will not be there because the position at which the charge is most stable, that position will have more of the plus charge so it will not be 33% 33% and 33% one may have 40% rest two have may have 30% and 30% so what the exact distribution of that plus charge is that we don't know all we know is plus charge is distributed at three positions each position will have some fraction of plus charge the exact value of that fraction we don't know so what we do is we just write uh, here as del plus now this del may be 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.35, exactly we don't know how much it is. But it is some fraction of plus charge and that fraction is symbolized by del. Similarly here also we will write del plus and here also we will write del plus. That means some fraction of charge is at this position, some fraction of charge is at this position, some fraction of charge is at this position. They may be equal, they may not be equal, whatever they be but indeed the charge is distributed at these three positions this is a qualitative analysis we don't do quantitative analysis we don't specify the exact plus charge there is no formula as such to calculate the amount of charge position present at this position this is the beauty of organic you just have to have analytical understanding this is not mathematical at all so after having learned after you learn this when it comes to problem solving it, it is very fast here in organic this is about the charge. Next you have to look for the pi bond. The pi bond in this structure you can see there are two pi bonds and those two pi bonds are just distributed at four positions between C1, C2, C2, C3, C3, C4 and C4, C5. At these two four positions pi bonds are distributed. If you see between C1 and C2 in this RS you have single bond. Here you have double bond, here you have double bond. The hybrid will have a character of this RS. That means the hybrid and this hybrid will have a character of this RS. This RS has a single bond here. So the hybrid will try to have a single bond at this position. But the hybrid will also have a character of this RS. And this RS will have a double bond between C1 and C2. This RS also has double bond between C1 and C2. So the hybrid will have characters of all of them. But the hybrid will not look like any of them. So hybrid will have something like this. Now this has a partial double bond character. It has a 
character of the first RS because it is like it is like first RS somewhat like first RS because the first RS has single bond it has partial double bond it is not a pure double bond it is also like RS2 and RS3 because RS2 and RS3 have, have double bonds at this position and this hybrid also have somewhat double bond at this position although not pure double bond but a partial double bond so it will be something between this and this and it is a pure single bond it is a pure double bond and this is something between pure single bond and pure double bond it is somewhat like between single bond and double bond it is 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.75 we don't know exactly how much it is but indeed it is between 1 and 2 similarly here also will have a double bond character here also will have a double bond character here also will have a double bond character you will not have double bond character between 1 and 6 and 1 and 5 because in all the three RS, if you look between 1 and 6, you have single bond, single bond, single bond. If you have look between 5 and 6, you have a single bond, single bond, single bond. In all the RS, you have a single bond. So in the hybrid also, you will have a single bond. In all, all the RS, you have at these positions single bond. So in the hybrid also, you will have a single bond. So you have to check if in any of the RS, you have a double bond, then only you will have a double bond character at that position. So the hybrid will look like this look like this the pi bonds the double bond character will be only in this region and the plus charge are distributed at these three positions so this is how the real molecule looks like the other way of showing the hybrid is this you can also show it like this that means in the in this region in this region the plus one unit of charge is distributed this is also a way of showing hybrid or you can show it like this so this is all about drawing resonating structures and resonance hybrid. Now after learning, after having learned to draw resonating structures and resonance hybrid, let's see why at all we studied this. One of the thing that we already know why we studied this because it brings about stability. It distributes the charge that decreases the potential energy that decreases the charge density and that brings about stability. So one of the main reason of why we study resonance or why resonance occurs at all is to bring about stability in the molecule. It decreases the potential energy, it decreases charge density and it brings up stability. So, but the consequence of resonance does not stop here. We have a lot more to talk about resonance and that we will be seeing probably in the next lecture. Thank you very much.